This is <coughs> Greenwood Race Park, uh, formerly known as Greenwood Roadway, Inc., 20, 23 years ago. And uh, we're going to be buying this and get it going again as an active track. Um, my name's Chris Fisher, and I'm the main person so far in uh, getting this venture going. And as you can see, <coughs> there is an existing track here. <coughs> Excuse me. It's uh, substantially in need of upgrading and repair, but it's all here, and we have um, the opportunity to get this track going again and get racing going in the Des Moines area. The, uh, the main effort is the cleaning of the track, would be the need to clean the track, get the, uh, these trees cut down, get this grass uh, cut, but the track, uh, as confirmed by some uh, track experts who came to see it, is in actually good shape after 21 years of being idle. I have driven the track in this car here at substantial speeds uh, earlier this year when the weeds were down, and uh, it's very, very comfortable to drive even now with just the weeds cleaned out. So we, um, once we close the track, we would like the support of the general community, uh, the, the entire racing community, we'd like your support in helping to get the track cleaned, to get the uh, the trees cut, to get the uh, prep work done on, say, getting the, uh, the cracks filled in and whatnot so we can get racing going once again here in this area. And for any support you can give, we thank you. This is turn one, heading down toward the straightaway, heading down into turn two, starting up through the hill, over to the track on the other side. Turn two, going down, slightly downhill, turning to the right. I was going to do my first two here. Turn two again. Straight away off turn two, up and under the bridge. Down the straightaway toward turn two. And we swing by and go down into off the main straightaway down to like three. Our little entourage here looking over the racing track. This is a turn off the straightaway. Right hander. Three. Turn three as Ronnie says. That's the lake back in there. Rather deep hole over on this side. Turn three. So we move around and go around to the right. Turn three. Heading in and going to the kink here. That was pretty wild. Heading to the next severe right hand. Because there wasn't much room. Short shoot on the north end. I don't know, Jeff. Heading into the next corner. Maybe it's here. You can see up here the right hand turn. It's all by the guardrail. If you can see it. Turn four, five. Starting once again a severe uphill. Quite halfway yet. Back down toward the hill on about four. Very steep hill. Sprite drivers beware. Right hand right hander after coming up the hill. Must be about in the five, six area. Coming up this way. Making a hard right up around the hill.
Ander down a, up a still going uphill slightly dropping back downhill heading for the next left hand turn from where I was this is the first chance I've had to get off the racetrack so you can tell how rough the terrain is this is that left hander I just showed you previously coming around you make the left and then you start short straight away to the next right. This is that right hander, as you can see, it's a very, very tight right hander. Going over to the next, once again, left hander. Hander. Hit it back down. Once again, down to an extremely long left hand corner radius opens as you go around, still going uphill. Hander, it's an extremely tight left hand. Very tight, getting in. And then, as you move out, it's a, the radius becomes larger. And you slowly but surely can put on the power. Once again, Sprite drivers, it's agonizing. Left hander, extremely tight left-hander. Real tight. Apex. Back up the hill. Around the hill, now this is just an, ex this just opens up as you come around. Going very, very increasing speed all the time. Shifting in, uh, I would guess probably a second gear turn off the left-hander and reaching fourth by the time you get to the pitch. Step out of that tight left-hander, coming by the bridge, on down, believe it or not, there's a straightaway down here, goes down and turns down to the left, somewhere down there. What'd you say? One of the old concession stands. What'd you say about the beer, Ron? No beer for sale today. Maytag Boisher in here. Is there? Seven up cooler. Right for it. Slight left hander. Heading down to another tight left hander. Good here. Heading down into a sh very sharp left hander. Hander. And uh, where we've got our washout problems is back over here. This is our washout problem right here. They call it rip wrap. And we go down into this. They need a slurry kind of straight in there. It makes a good solid taste. On down into the valley. It's tough to see there's so much foliage in this area. But as you come off this, you have a very short straight heading on down again into another right-hander which begins an S-curve section of the racetrack. The right-hander into the S-turn section of the racetrack. Here, heading down uh, to the left-hander in the beginning of the S-curves. This is all downhill. Going down to another right-hander in the S-turns. There's still one more left-hander over this way. Right hand S corner down and this will be the last left hander involved in the S's. Left hander going to the S's. Last left hand. Out of the S's this will be the last left hander in the S curve system going into a short chute which will start you into a hairpin type diminishing radius, increasing radius corner. Very tricky easy to get in the weeds out here of the very tight coming out of the S's working your way down come through and you go into a very very tight corner this corner is a diminishing radius turn as you go around and then begins to open up again as you go on around up the hill Finishing radius turn. 
around this corner. This opens up here and then begins to tighten again slightly as you come around here and start up over here up the hill. You'll be able to see the hill in just a minute. Off that corner, the track opens up for you. You begin to make your acceleration and start up the hill. Now we're talking uh, Pitt Strait, Elkhart Lake, just about twice as long. A uh, good place for motorcycle hill climbs. There's a small flat spot on top of this hill leading again back downhill to a very steep downhill and a extremely fast right hand uh, bottoming corner. The corner bottoms out at the bottom of the hill as you turn, or excuse me, right hand, hard right. Now beginning to come down the hill toward a sharp right hand corner as we come down and, and notice these corners are all banked. All of these corners of the racetrack are all banked. Just almost all of them. Especially in the points where you can really go fast. Turn one, uh, right hander, last turn. Extremely banked as you can see, very, very fast. Back up. Now this is coming up to the pit straight, pit entrance to the right entrance. As you can see, we still have the yellow lines on the racetrack from when they did it the first time. This is a track where you don't want to be out of fuel trying to get into the pits. Coming up the last turn, once again into the pit area. You can see the guardrail here that divided the pit from the main straightaway. The pit straight, uh, uphill. We're standing right at the crest of the hill. Now this is a pit wall back into the paddock area. All this area back behind here was all paddock. Very good sized paddock area. You get a lot of cars in there. And then going down toward turn one, and you can see the bridge that we, that uh, I don't think we could see it in the first shot, but that's heading right down to where we started. Timing and cor scoring stand, very good condition after 20 years. The floor, is the floor in there wood or? Okay, going down to turn one, give a little panoramic view here. Going down into the right hander down at the bottom. You can see the track coming back up. Up to the bridge. That's the switchback corner up by the other pedestrian bridge that you saw, which is right up there. Come on back down on the back side, down toward the washout. The cars from timing and scoring. These are some of the things we're going to have to overcome at this racetrack. On the main straight up by the timing and scoring stand, this is a tree that grew right out of the middle of the track. Someone growing right along the edge of the track. This is the entrance into the racetrack from the road. Comes in at the pit straight. gate. This is uh, on a dead end dirt road and coming in see the old house that they used to use for registration. Pretty bad shape now. 
and on in on the road here coming into the racetrack. I'll walk up here about 30 feet and give you an idea how far or how dense the undergrowth has become. If you get down in here you can see how dense it becomes. One of the storage buildings for machinery. There's a pan on around. There's a concession stand back there somewhere. And this is the road going into the going into the uh, track. Used to be a registration. Could make a war movie back in here for all the crud there is and overgrowth. Unbelievable. This is looking east uh, into the pit road area beyond easterly. And, uh, now turning towards the south. We're standing here on the second floor of the viewing tower, and even though it certainly needs to be painted and cleaned up, it's uh, in good sound shape and uh, should actually make a very nice viewing tower. Facing uh, west now into the sunset, I see Highway 65 there as well as a section of the track. Towards the north is <coughs> the general paddock area. Uh, see one of the uh, spectator bridges off to the north there. Also the forested area that the track goes through. A lot of parking here. The weeds are high, but mainly flat. It's really flat in this community there. You just need to be cut down. <clears throat> then back again towards the east. So we are on the about the center part of the property, 260 acres, and uh, the viewing tower gives a pretty good view of you know, certainly the start finish area <clears throat> and part of the. Uh, western area towards Highway 65. Might be nice at some point to have a taller tower somewhere to catch more of the track. This gives a pretty good feel for, for the vision. Back. This is the lower uh, level of the viewing tower, and as you can see, very well built steel posts with uh, two by ten steel beam cross pieces and two by eight wood frame construction above that. Fortunately, over by the uh, western edge there, there is some uh, uh, sewer plumbing, so for, say a medical building, a medical facility. You know, a lot of junk all over, but that's going to be hauled out. So at least we have a print viewing tower already here to be cleaned up and, uh, and modernized. The physical building is very good after 25 years. Spectator bridges in general also seem to be in sound shape. Repair 